My name is Caroline Fei-Ying Kwok, and I've been immigrated to Toronto many years ago. At the time when I was diagnosed, what they told me was that, Caroline, if you don't seek help, you will lose a job. My God, you asked me to lose my job? No way. As an inpatient, in those days, I was so naive. So I was in a coma for two weeks. That is because of the overdose of medications given to me by the psychiatrist. So because of that, my spirituality to God has strengthened. When I was first diagnosed as someone with mental illness, I said to me, wow, was it God's punishment on me? That my faith was not strong enough? But now I know that God has set his plan on me as an inpatient. When I was in isolation, one thing that kept me going was my belief. These famous writers, if they suffer from mental illness, and I could be as creative as them, but none of these doctors, they believe in what I've told them because they think that these aspirations of mine, sort of like the grandeur thoughts, one of the symptoms of being in a manic state. I was lucky enough to go to take a creative writing course from Yale University in the States. My professor, he has passed away. His name is called Dr. Richard Selzer. As a result, I published two books. And on top of it, I've advocated myself in psychiatric journals and in newspapers such as the Toronto Star. Of course, I was thrilled to be accepted by one of the major mental health institutions. Because with this, I hope to be able to have more opportunities to promote the empowerment model of recovery, which has helped me. You have to learn to be resilient against social stigma. And you have to have the determination to reclaim your life back. I still take medications. I don't withdraw from it. I'm happy because I've been able to be recognized and accepted by my peers. I've given mental health awareness and recovery as my life mission. So the hope that I would like to give to these people who are feeling down or low is with my Chinese saying, build your sorrow and anger into strength. Recovery is possible, so never give up hope in all circumstances.